All right, so here is our hot mess. This is a standard American closet with two French doors measuring 70 and three quarter inches wide with 10 inch wingspans on the side. First order of business is to break down the existing shelves. Now the shelves are usually held on traditionally with brad nails, sometimes wood glue, but always, of course, caulk. The best way to prevent tearing out too much drywall is to take a utility knife and go along the edges and cutting all the caulk. Then take a mallet and lightly break everything apart. Now keep in mind you will break some drywall, so grab yourself some spackling and a six inch spackling knife and start blending in and patching up all the damage that's done. Once it's all dried up, put a nice fresh coat of paint to make sure we're starting from zero. As you can see, we've demoed our old closet space. We've patched up any drywall that was damaged and now we put a fresh coat of paint so we have a clean slate to work with. There's a lot of boxes part of the Alpha system. Now that's because there's a lot of cool intricate parts to install. They were nice enough to enclose this little packet. It's personalized, got my name on it. Exactly tailored to this office space. I gave them my dimensions. So I glanced through these instructions. They looked pretty straightforward. So let's just open it up and see how easy this could be. Let's go. Thanks to Irina, my wife, who helped me establish a fresh new canvas with a space, I am now ready to set up a solid base here. And to do so, I'm using a stud finder to find all the studs that are in this closet space and then clearly mark them with blue painter's tape. Then I use the track that comes with the system. Now the track already has pre-drilled holes and some of them will line up to your studs and some will not. The ones that don't, you can use the drywall anchoring screws that comes with the system. Uh, the option that I decided to go with is pre-drill my own existing holes. That way everything is set up and hooked up to the studs of the wall, having a far stronger foundation. Once the track is up, I can then insert the hanger screw in that slot and slide them throughout the entire track without them falling out. Then I'm using the included spacer template to space out the hangers exactly where they need to be so that it accommodates all the drawers and all the shelves exactly how the designer created them. The shelves are really straightforward. Use the lockable shelving brackets and distribute them and install them exactly how your diagram, the custom diagram that was created for you, indicates. Once that's done, you then use the ventilated shelf, place it on top of the bracket and push in a downward forward motion. And what it does is not only locks the entire shelf, but also tightens it up to limit the amount of wobble that it has. The drawers are actually one of my favorite parts of this product where they come in a two-part installation series. The first part is the frame and that actually just locks in a place via the same brackets as your shelf. Then you can use the roller slides and then install them in place. Once you notice that they're opening and closing smooth, you can then open them and drop the storage basket inside of it. And these baskets are kind of neat. They range in shallow all the way to deep, uh, kind of transition from each level as you go down. All right, so just a quick update. The system is being installed pretty smoothly. It's just kind of like a lot of the shelving systems that are sold in stores. But I'm gonna point out some of the things that are really different about this Alpha system that I really like so far. For example, these uh, fascias that they sell, part of Alpha, it's pretty simple. This pops out. This is a piece of wood trimming. Uh, I see wood grain, so I'm gonna say, yeah, natural wood. Um, and then you have these clips, these little locking clips. And the way they work is, to disguise this little wire shelf and kind of give it a little bit more of that fullness and richer look, it's got this little hook on top, just like that. And then these go right underneath, pop there, pop there, and just like that you got a really rich, full shelf look. And lastly, my favorite part about the Alpha storage solution is their attention to detail. You know, it ranges from things like the trim pieces that go in front of all the shelves to these even bracket covers that act as tops to all the exposed hollow parts of the brackets to maybe even the translucent liners that go on top of each shelf that keeps it safe from spills or perhaps any narrow things from falling down. All these things add up to a bigger picture that now we actually took the doors off of our closet and this storage actually acts as an accent piece for our office and we couldn't be more proud and happy with this product. Well, as you guys can see, there's no reason to have any doors on this beautiful Clasa space. All these products seen here are found on the Container Store's website, including some of the things we've decked it out with, the Bigs of Martin storage solution, the feather grain, and of course, the mocha water bins down below. All of that on the Container Store website. We'll put a link down below in the description. But apart from that, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and check out these two other videos. Tune out this week. We'll see you guys next week. See ya. Bye.